Well, good morning, guys. It's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living, and I just ended yesterday's video just a second ago. But we're going to be busy canning those mushrooms that um, I got the kids to clean. I rinsed them after they did that, and then I sliced them up in the food processor right there. Yep. I didn't want to cut them up. You can use a mandolin, use a knife, whatever. Uh, you can probably can them whole, but uh, anyways, I just used... Um, my old reliable food processor to do that to them. I'm going to get my big 23 quart um, stock pot up to boil. I need to go get it and rinse it and fill it up with water because we need to blanch these mushrooms for about five minutes once it starts boiling. And uh, yeah, I have, well, let me turn you around. Yeah, we pressure can these. I wouldn't normally put these jars in the oven like I do that when I water bath can just so it sanitizes them, but I want the jars to be hot because the mushrooms will be hot and the hot water that we have will be hot so I need my jars hot but yeah I'm gonna boil these up and that's just extra jars I didn't fit in there dishwashers done I got up and packed the kids' lunches because I was a noob but I gotta empty this this was all from this morning I loaded this up and started it I got up early like six o'clock honestly and I gotta wash, put the this stuff in, and yeah, I'll do that while the water's gonna come up to boil for the mushrooms. Well, I was trying to be slick Rick and put it all into my big pot, but it's just too much, so Harriet's offered to help me out, so I'm gonna put some of these in there so I can add some water enough for it to boil. I was thinking I'd bring the water up to boil and put them in, but no, I'm just gonna fill them with the mushrooms, cover them with water, and once it starts boiling, I'll put the timer on for five minutes. The reason why you do this is because the mushrooms will cook down a little bit. And if you were to put raw mushrooms in a jar and can them like that, it would work. But you you wouldn't have very many mushrooms in the jar. It would be like half water instead of being nicely packed with mushrooms because they cook down. So that's why. That's why we do it. So let me get this situated and get them on the stove. There, so now they're about like half full each, and I can cover them good with water. All right, I got them on. The jars are in the oven. Filled them with hot water, but it'll take a minute to come up to boil. This is that thing I got at the dollar store. I washed it and everything, but this is perfect. Yeah. Now this water's gonna be brown. I always uh, can it with fresh water. But we'll just strain it and load up the jars. Now I'm going to get my kitchen table ready. Oh, I didn't empty the dishwasher yet. i got to do that, Tracy. Ah, pace yourself, pace yourself. Yeah, now i got to deal with that. Hip, hip, hooray. I just filled up these, uh, like, the two kettles in the pot with some fresh water. And I'm going to heat it on the wood stove just because my electric stove is being used now. But we'll need hot water for when we can those mushrooms. So by the time I'm ready to add the water, um, yeah, these should be hot. So that's good. It's almost boiling. You can see all that like foam that comes up. That's just from the mushrooms starting to cook and stuff. So yeah, that's a good thing. Ooh, look what just happened. I've got to clean that up, but I set the timer for this one. Uh, this one hasn't quite started boiling yet, but I'll have to keep an eye on this. I just turned the burner off for a second to go down. I'll just put it on like that. And, yeah, four minutes left. All right. I just strained Harriet. I'm going to put it back in this bowl here. And I just turned the timer on for my big pot, so we'll... I'll strain that when it's done, and then we'll start moving and grooving. All right, I've got the, one of the trays of jars out of the oven. Mushrooms are all strained. i got my lids all ready, my rings out. I found one of my stinking funnels, and i got a wooden spoon to debubble and a little bowl of vinegar and one of the kettles of hot water. So, yeah, we got to start getting this party going. And Evie just got here, so I got him settled for a minute. We'll see how he how he does but yeah we'll keep moving and grooving all right friends let me see how this goes heavy you stay away from that no 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 you skedaddle buster all right let's get this 
going. Get this show on the road. It is 10 o'clock in the morning now. I want to get this all done and out of the canner by lunchtime if I can. And my husband has two packs of chicken in the oven or in the fridge. I'm thinking that's what I'll make for supper. And I just I don't pack it in hard or anything. A couple of scoops. But if it's too much, I'll just scoop it out after. Watch out, Evie. No, no, no. No, no. Watch out, Evie. No. No, no. Well, I'm scared he's going to knock you guys over into the fire. There. So, yeah, I do have a video on this. Like from, I don't know, last year or something. So. But I have my water, uh, like pressure canners already the water in it and a splash of vinegar. My canners are Miro's, M-I-R-R-O, 22 or 23 quart ones. And they do do me good. I do have another one down in the basement. It's my sister-in-law. She brought it here. She's never pressure canned and she just had it. It's brand new in the box. It's one of those ones with the gauges. I've never used one like that before, so maybe someday I will, but for now I'm just sticking with the old reliable. Now, you could add salt to this if you wanted to. I'm just canning straight up mushrooms. I'll just season whatever I put it in anyways. But these are just going to, they're not as pretty as the ones, you know, uniform mushrooms like you buy in a can at the store but they're mushrooms i often cut my mushrooms up anyways sometimes i put them in the food processor and chop them good so it looks like brown meat and the kids don't even know they're eating mushrooms so yeah i probably got out too many jars but i always do that i'd rather have too many than not enough and have to go and wash it and everything Whatever I don't use, we'll just go back down in the basement. It's getting hot in here. I have that door open a crack. Eddie just shut it. Thank you, sir. And I'm hoping after I get this going, like I need to sit down and edit yesterday's video when I make that beef uh, stew in the oven and stuff. It's all on the computer now, but I have to edit it and piece it together and do all that hubbub for it. That's a bear, baby. A bear. Oh, and I got a parcel yesterday. When I stopped into Dad's for a minute, I got a parcel. So I'm hoping today we can sit down and have a cup of tea and I'll open it up. And I got a card somewhere. Uh, I might still be in the van. Or I think it's a card. It's a card shaped envelope. So, you make me nervous. You make me nervous, boy. Yeah. I won't need any more jars. <laughs> I have a whole other pan in there and the other one over here, but. You can never tell. Mushrooms, you know, like they're big when you first get them. But like I say, it, that's why we boil them because if you put them in whole, you'd only end up with a couple of mushrooms in there, really. Now, there's only a little bit left in there. No, no, no. strainer and strain that and see if I can add just a few mushrooms to each of the jars.
course, there was a little bit of liquid in there still, so. I don't know. There's just, just a little bit of mushrooms left. But I bought all these mushrooms 50% off. The kids got to say that they helped because they cleaned, you know, wiped them down. I rinsed them and did the rest. shelves down in the basement. Perfect. <coughs> yeah, I haven't done these in so long. I couldn't remember if you pressure can them or you water bath can them. You pressure can them. So, it's too hot to handle. It's kind of hot. Fill the water up an inch from the top, like that bottom ring. Ooh, that's a little much. I'll have to go back and add a little more water. It's just I need to debubble these because there could be air pockets hiding in them. And you don't ever use anything metal or glass. I always use the end of a wooden spoon. I probably only had to get out one of my water bath or pressure canners, but I got them out just in case. Just wiggle and jiggle, push it, poke it. Just because there's little air pockets hiding in there sometimes. Do this. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm just gonna bake that chicken that's in the fridge. And I don't know, put a can of vegetables down in the basement. I still have some potatoes left, but Eddie, no. Get off that window. It's rolling a car on that fragile, it's old glass. One of these old windows from this old house. Do you remember that show, This Old House? Is that what it was called? They played like folk music and stuff. That needs a little bit more water. Gerald. That one has a little too much mushrooms, I think. I gotta get a smaller spoon. Just a little bit. Now I say that, don't use metal. You just don't want to scratch your jars, is what it is. But there's even a little tiny thing. Scratch. Um, it's not going to can, but your jar will probably bust in a pressure canner. And you don't even really need to sanitize uh, jars in the that go in the pressure canner. You got to have them clean, like they're clean. But uh, it gets so hot in a pressure canner that it kills anything, botulism or anything. So, and I'm always careful when I get things from my basement. Um, you look at it, it looks good. You open it and it smells okay, you know, smells good. Um, then it's good. <laughs> if it looks foggy or when it's not supposed to be foggy, it, uh, it's the lid is bulging, something like that. Don't, don't chance it, but. Now I use vinegar to wipe my rims just because that's what mom always did. You can just use hot water. Just do to have it. I, 
could have dehydrated these too. Mushrooms dehydrate really good. I think I still have some from last time I did it. There. Now these jars are hot. The hot water. They were hot from the oven. this part up and uh, we'll get them loaded in the canner. started loading up the canner there beautiful and with like big canners like this it comes with two racks and then I can load up the rest up on the second rack and yeah it'll all fit in one canner awesome all right got it all loaded up now I'm gonna put the gasket in the lid and get the lid on all right guys I'm just cleaning up the kitchen I brought down some of the Empty jars that were cool. Watch out, Evie. Beep, beep. Those are the ones I just took out of the oven. I gotta wait till they cool down a bit so I can put them in a box and put them downstairs. But I decided to start working on the chicken. And Evie is being a rascal. Uh, since there's no jars in the oven, I'm gonna get this in the oven. It's just I took it out, rinsed it, and Montreal chicken spice on it. I'm gonna bake it. I'll put it at 350. I'll check it in an hour and see. So, yeah. The thing is just starting to come up. It's not ready to start the timer yet because I want a really aggressive steam coming out of there. And I just put the chicken in. I'm going to turn the oven on. 350. Bake. It's 1036. I'll wipe the stove top after. Um, the pressure canner is moved and stuff because it's just too dang hot. But yeah, the dishwasher is going now. There's all the stuff I'm going to get washed after. And now I'm going to wipe down the table, sweep the floor, and, yeah, wait for my uh, pretty pretties to be done. But I'll bring you back when it's time to set the timer so you can see. Uh, can you see the steam coming out of that? I mean, I know you see it coming out of there, but, yeah, it's coming out. I have trouble with this canner sometimes. The gasket doesn't go along quite right, but we'll see. If it doesn't end up, if this doesn't end up poking up, then I'll know I need to shut it off and start over, but we'll see. Right, the little poker went up and now that steam's coming out good. I'm going to set the timer for 10 minutes. Cook time. There. And when it comes back, uh, that's when we put the weight on. And then, um, yeah, the next step. You can still see there's a little steam coming out of there, but you know there's pressure in this canner because that red thing is poked up, so you don't dare try to take the lid off right now. All right, guys. 10 minutes is off. They won't be out of the canner by then, but at least that'll be done. And the chicken should be done by then. And yeah, yeah, I'll lay him down here in a little bit and we'll be good. All right, there we go. There. I just 
tested the temperature down between a 6 and a 7 on my stove. I like it to do this little dance two or three times a minute. Or you can have it do like a steady jiggle, soft jiggle, but I like to be able to hear what's going on in there because they're party animals and they're wiggling and jiggling. So, yeah, I set the timer for 45 minutes, so I'll bring you back after that. I need to go change the laundry. I need to go change heavy. <laughs> I'll be back in a little bit. Guys, the timer just went off, so I'm just shutting the burner off and leaving it. Uh, I'll wait till this little poker goes down and I'll know it's safe to open up the canner, but you don't try to cool this down, don't take the weight off or anything. Now I'm going to go up and try to get Evie to lay down for a nap, because he needs one. Alright, I just laid him down. He's still up there awake. I'm going to see if he'll go to sleep on his own. I said, I'll be back in a minute. And just was standing at the bottom of the steps. He's not crying or anything, just has a bottle. But I just checked that chicken. I'm going to leave it in there longer. It's just, it's a big old sheet pan and stuff. But yeah, the dishwasher's almost done. Do one, I'll go rotate that laundry and uh, I'll keep, keep an ear out for him for a minute before I, I can actually sit down and think that I can have a cup of tea and relax. Oh, my husband's on a lunch break, so he brought me a coffee. Oh, mine's over there. He got the stickers for the plate, so we're good to go. And that little pressure thing just poked down. So I'm going to uh, set you guys up and we'll take them out and take a look at the pretty breeze. <laughs> It's 12.53. My husband's down there making bacon and eggs, and it is windy outside right now. It just had a great big gust. It seems okay right now, but yeah, those leaves on the ground swirl up like a tornado. It's really, really windy. But yeah, I can smell that bacon down there. I gotta go check that chicken, too. Guys, it's 2.32. I just got done editing yesterday's video, like of the busy making the stew video. And it's exporting now, so I'll be able to click it to upload after. It's a long one. It's a long one. By the time you see this, that would already have been published. But amazing. Evie, you're out there playing. i got to change Evie's bum. He's out there stinking up the place. But I'm going to get this going. I had this in my pantry, and this can go with the chicken. Um, yeah, it only takes uh, a minute to make. And May's got school pictures done. I didn't realize I did it for his. I don't generally buy school pictures. I used to, one or two, first two kids, but I take a million pictures and videos and stuff. So, but I'll save these little things and I'll scan them and all that. But look at that. Gina, that's that shirt, Sly Maker. I didn't even know it was a day that they were doing pictures. So it just so happened to be a day he was wearing your shirt. He is a little slime maker. Uh, he's so photogenic. Cutie patootie. I don't know what ones I like the best. Oops. I don't know. Such a big boy. Well, that pasta's over there boiling. Um, I had a bag of this left over from Thanksgiving, and it still seems fine. Like, it doesn't seem like it's wilted or anything. I think I'm going to do up this coleslaw, too, so it'll just be like chicken and salad stuff. For supper. I just have some of that coleslaw bottled sauce in the fridge. I'm going to mix up with it and then the macaroni salad and chicken. I think that should be all right. All right. I'm just doing up the salads. Mazai is trying on the part of the costume I have for her. She wants to be Moana, so we'll have to let her hair out and everything. Yeah. But. I don't need a wig for Moana. My hair looks perfectly like Moana. I just need to take it off. Yeah. I put this whipped salad dressing, a squirt of mustard, a squirt of relish, a little seasoning mix, stirred it together, and there you have it. And for the coleslaw, just crab coleslaw sauce, mix it up. So, Misha, that bowl isn't just for you. <laughs> All 
right guys this, just a minute all right guys this is the chicken i just took it out it's still warm i'm not gonna have to heat it up it's just not blaring hot like when it was first done so i'm gonna start making up the plates oh, okay this is Mally's plate and there's like fresh veggies in the fridge if they want some these guys are just about done their supper the dishwasher's going from earlier, so I'll have the supper dishes to load up after. But, yeah, not much salad left. That'll be gone tonight. The kids love that stuff. I just told them to take a little bit at first. And, yeah, these all sealed. They look wonderful. Wonderful. Anyways, I just peeked outside because I was going to get one of the kids to bring the compost out. <laughs> and it is downpouring. Watch now, it won't be so damn boring, but yeah, it's raining, raining, raining. So, ah, well. Oh, I thought that truck out there was about to pull into our yard. No, not us. Oh, I see my teenager got into some more of that deer meat. I canned this up last, last season. He really likes it, really, and just pop it in the mic. It'd be good over like rice or potatoes or anything like that. But it's all cooked, everything. I have an old canning video on that too, I believe, and canning deer ribs and moose meat and stuff like that. Well, the girls of I and I are deciding to have some tea. Mally's trying that same one, lemon and orange tea. What, Misha? She's making a sandwich. She has that hollow leg syndrome too, like Mays. What's hollow leg? You guys won't stop eating. You must have a hollow leg. Mom, oh, get another slice. So, yeah, I think I'm going to try this one today. Yeah, and just put it in your hot water and let it steep. Oh, I'm in a house full of chaos right now. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> friends well it's just after seven i just brought evie to go see his daddy and that dad's so i'm stopping in for a cup of tea well i won't go in there this is the room he already did my sister's old room but that's where she stands so all her stuff is out there but he's doing the hallway now too and this is the room he was working on he sanded the floor i know the lighting in here is bad well this time of night it's dark out but painted, this used to be like pink, like Minnie Mouse pink. It's hard to see, but it's like a off-white color, like a tan kind of color. Painted all the white, put the, that stuff up all there, and put that stuff there. Oh, it looks really good, really good. And let's see, it's like the old floors, like at our house. Yeah, this used to be in my brother's room, only it wasn't pink when he was in here, but yeah, he wrote that on it years ago. Keep out. <laughs> Funny. Anyways, we're going to have a cup of tea and I'm going to have a little visit, then we'll head home. Oh boy. Hey guys, it's the next day. It's 12.30. Just after lunch, the kids are all at school, but it's a CLT day, so they're going to be dismissed a little over an hour early. So I wanted to get this tea cup. Well, I wanted to have a cup of tea with you, to be honest, but I thought I'd do it now while the kids are gone. Medea just got here with Evie on her shoulder asleep, so she's upstairs putting him to bed. Um, maybe she's going to have a little kink before she goes to work. I don't know. But... Yeah, I thought we'd have a cup of tea together. So I brought out a teacup, which I'm sure she's been out before, but she's a fancy one, and she wanted to come out and say hi because she missed you. But I'll show you my teapot first. I think I got it at a yard sale. I'm pretty sure I got it at a yard sale. A long time ago, but she's a beaut. Look at, look at down here. She has like a frilly skirt on and everything. All those pretty uh, flowers and ribbons love that color and i love how it i mean i like nice short stout round teacup teapots too but she's got to go all out and she has like the little design there it's not just round it's shaped and look at her handle Ooh, this is hot on my hand Ugh. and right there part of her handle too like it's nothing is 
complete, completely smooth, if you know what I mean. There's hot tea in here. And yes, look at the front of her uh, spout. Yeah, if she's not pretty. I don't know what is. But I should have checked. Oh, it's backwards. I'm not that good. Exclusive designs by uh, Cranford Giftware, New York, New York, made in England. But yeah, pretty, pretty. Now, I'm coming, I'm coming. Look at this one. I love the color, like that sky blue on there, and the really rich colors of the flowers. Like they're nice, deep, and dark. And you can see there's one in there. So when I take sips, I can see the little flower in there. Um, also on here, you can see these little riblets or whatever you call them. And some gold slippers right there. Gold around the top. Beautiful. And her handle. Uh, it almost looks like a leaf, like a petal sort of thing. And gold down her back. Beautiful. I thought these two would go nice together. They wanted to hang out. And here's the saucer. Yeah. Beautiful. It's like the deep um, yellow and red and green and stuff. It's kind of folly to me. But still, we, even though it's fall, we still have that sky blue out there. Beautiful. So I'm going to pour us a cup of tea, and I have a couple things of mail to open. I've had a busy morning and got up, well, last night after I visited my sister um, and dad. Well, dad was there for a few minutes, and then he left. And then just as I was leaving, he was coming back. But I stopped in there this morning. I was reading your comments, and um, yeah, I was looking for a special cream called Utterly Smooth. Um, oh, is it Vintage Moss? Is it you? I forget. One of you said that really helped for eczema, and I wanted to try it um, for maize just to see, just, just to see, but they don't have it here. So I'm going to see if I can get it online. I checked Shoppers, I checked Superstore, I checked Walmart, but no, we can't, we can't get that here. So I'm going to look into it. It's worth a shot, worth a shot. So did that. I did stop to the dollar store. Oh uh, yeah. I got a few. I have to show you this. Uh, I got this tree. I'll take this tag off it now for a little Halloween village. I haven't really bought any Halloween decorations in a long time, but i seen this, and you know the Halloween village we have on top of our piano. There's one tree there, but I thought that would be perfect. It's $4, but worth it. I thought that was cute. Even his head looks like a tree trunk. And I, well, I have the bag here. Maze is now saying he wants to be a skeleton for Halloween. So I got a skeleton-ish kind of mask. It'll probably be too big for him, but... It'll be something for pictures anyways. I got some glow sticks for my prepping supplies. <coughs> I want to have a nice little stash of those. And I bought a whole bunch of more lids for canning because I want to can some more. I feel like canning and canning. <coughs> oh my. Let me have a drink of this tea. Mm. I'm going to do it this way so I can see the flower. without going cross-eyed and anyways that's good that's good that's just the king cold tea i just have a whole container of it in there so oh just a minute here comes medea all right guys medea just left now i just had a chit chat with her my tea's still warm but not super hot it's 12 48 now so let's get moving let's get moving and grooving but i did wash those um mushroom jars this morning and labeled them and got those down in the basement. Those weren't too heavy for me. But yeah, so that's why I can sit down and have a cup of tea with you here at the table. And I forget if I told you, I have a frozen baked spaghetti in the oven for supper tonight. And I brought up, my son's here today too, my teenager. I brought up, I don't know if you guys remember when I did 
I don't know if it was a freezer raid or what, but I made Batsmati rice and then honey garlic pork and put it on top. And they're just individual meals. I brought one of those up and heated that up for him. So, yeah, it's an easy supper day for me. Yeah. The girls are going to a dance tonight at the high school. It's just for elementary school kids. It's like $4 each or $3 if you bring a food bank's donation. So, you know I'm doing that. And uh, I think they got to wear their costumes. So, yeah, Messiah has, she still needs a little shirt. But even if she just wears a tank top, I don't know. Or she can wear one of her other costumes here just for the dance. And then for Halloween, she can be the, because she wants to be Moana. I don't know if you see my video yesterday, was it? She, I got her a grass skirt and a flower for her hair. But her hair is up in braids. And she wants to be Moana. I got to take her braids out. And she'd have, you know, all her beautiful hair out. So I don't know. We'll see. We're going to wing it. But I'm going to uh, open this. This is from my friend Barbara R. from uh, PA now. Harrisburg, PA. I'm trying to think. PA. Is that Philadelphia? I can't remember. I don't know. I forget, but I've heard from her before. She's a beautiful lady. She's, um, yeah, she's wrote me before and sent me a card before and stuff. So, and the stamp, I'll cover up her. Her name one has like a shooting star on it. But the stamp is that. That little flower thing. But yeah, I thought I'll try to have this cup of tea while well, there's peace and quiet in the house. Oh, wow. With a grateful heart. Oh, and there's a whole letter in here. I won't read that right now, but the message that's in the card we remember you at Thanksgiving. Oh, look at that. I know we just passed Thanksgiving, but it's that season right now. And your guys' is, um, Thanksgiving's coming up in November. I know that. So that'll be really exciting for you guys. I really, I truly enjoy that time of year. But I'm going to save this with my uh, Halloween decorations. And it's a total fall picture. I love it. And the big old fat turkey and the big old plump pumpkins and the sunflowers. And is that an apple? Yeah, apple down there. Like a squash yeah very harvesty i'll have to get the kids na to name this turkey yeah i think that would be a good idea but beautiful i'll put that right up there on my bulletin board until i start taking my stuff down and start decorating for christmas <laughs> but thank you so much barbara i love it love it i'll read your your message here she wrote a whole card full so i'll read that after and yeah oh i love you happy thanksgiving she says yeah, well, we did have a happy Thanksgiving, I think. We had, you know, a whole house full, tons of food, and uh, a good time, good times. Oh, somebody's just messaging me. I don't know who that is. I'll look after. But, yeah, Thanksgiving. Good times, good times. I want to have another cup where it'll be nice and warm in here. I don't have the wood fire going now, but I think I'm going to make it. Um, it's actually colder in the house than it is outside right now when I check that thing. I think it said it was a, a 14 in the house and it's 16 outside or something. But it's chilly. It's it's cool in here. I mean, I have, this is Mally's sweater. As long as you have a sweater on, it's okay. But it's just going to get colder um, as the day goes on. So I'll probably end up firing that up. And we'll have it nice and toasty in here again before you know it. Mm. that's better it's a little warmer oh my this is this dad's yeah, I picked it up the other day There's... boo uh, wahahaha <laughs> and then fragile 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 on the other side. This is from my friend, uh, Chantel, I think. Yeah, the mark, she did it in marker, so it's kind of soaked in, and the letters are all put together. From Ontario, Hearst, Ontario. So, yes. Thank you. I can't wait to open it up. I need one more sip of this. 
Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what time the girls will be home. Within the hour, for sure. I have a knife here. And I'm going to end this video after, after our little teacup thing here. And just, I'll see if I can get it edited. Or at least unload it off of my phone. So I can edit it after. The kids go to bed. But my husband's going to the city today, overnight, some meeting or something. So I might try to have a date night with myself. Jeez, you have it taped up good. <laughs> Sorry, I know that's loud, guys. Oh, I don't want to rip your address. Unless you have it on a card, and I'll make sure I write it down after. Is it a great big box of coffee pods? <laughs> I'll get your address off of that before I almost likely start my fire with that tonight. But I'll get your address off of there first. A hundred coffee pods. Now, I don't know if I can buy big boxes like that. Just here, I'd like to try that coffee. Because I'm sure it's a good deal. That'd be great. I'd love to have that. Oh, let's see here. Ooh, there's a card and some sort of packing material. Isn't that neat? Let's open it up. An orange card to Tracy and family. Let's see. Oh, this is great. Well, look at that. I love it. It says, the monsters are creeping, the spiders are crawling, the mummies are scaring, the candy is calling. It certainly is. Uh, hope your Halloween is a whole lot sweet and just a little bit spooky. And it comes with stickers. Look at the inside of this. She wrote like a message. For Look at that sparkly castle. That's fantastic. The kids are going to love this. Absolutely. And it comes, I don't want to show her message, but with some stickers. I can see Misha getting right into this. Out of everybody else, she, she loves stuff like that. Yeah, Chantel, a.k.a. Miss Gadget. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I want to read. I want to read the messages. But look at the moon face up there. That's so cute. And there's a little owl. But I love the, like, black sparkle. That's really cool and how it comes together. The monsters and one-eyed octopus and ghost and the moon peeking out behind the house rooftop that's fantastic I love it oh the kids will love that when they get home oh, I've never seen packing stuff like this before it's like paper which it's recyclable or compostable I'll recycle it and see let's see this is what I think it might be. Oh, we'll see. A creamer. <laughs> I know I said a long time ago I didn't have one. And I just found that one I had a while ago that went with that old teapot. But this one is beautiful. Look at the gold up there. Oh, they're standing proud like this with their chin high in the sky. This is lovely. Lovely. What is in that? Oh. Oh, Chantel. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Let me see. Oh, don't tell me. <laughs> I'm getting it. Goodness. This is stunning. Oh, I gotta. Got to get rid of some of this stuff out of the way. Oh, wow. This is amazing. Let me just set it up here. And I have to see. This must hook on to the thing so it doesn't fall. Oh, wow. Look 
at this. Look at the butterflies and the little saucer. That is wonderful. You know I'll be having a cup of tea with mom. Or if the girls are missing mom, they can have a cup of tea out of this. The blue butterflies and the pretty flowers. I love that like purpley kind of color. And you see the teapot has a purple slipper on down here and her little hand on her hip. Oh, wow. This is lovely. It says Blossoms and Butterflies by Lena. Uh, I don't know how to say it. Lil? L-I-C-L is what it looks like. How would you say that? I'm trying to think. Uh, Telefor Gifts. Imperial Graphics Limited. Oh, I've never seen a set like this. And to come with a stand, I don't have one like this. I don't. This is wonderful. Oh, how thoughtful. That's really thoughtful. I love it. Love it. The next time I have a cup of tea with you guys, I'm going to have it out of this one. And Mom will be sitting right here alongside of me so you guys can meet her and say hi to her too. <laughs> She'll just be with my teacup. Yes, she will. That's beautiful. I absolutely love it. And I see there's two butterflies on the saucer. There's two butterflies on the teacup. So I, I, you know, I pitch it to the kids that if they're missing Grammy, they could have a cup of tea, iced tea, water, juice, something out of this. It's not going to be in my up in my cupboard willy nilly. But that would be Grammy the big butterfly and then the little butterfly. And they could have a t cup of tea or whatever they're having with Grammy. I think that's a wonderful idea. And it's a way just to, I don't know, engage with Grammy here on Earth, if you know what I mean. Until such time when we actually reconnect, if you know what I mean. So this is wonderful. Thank you so much. I love my cards. I love my... So uh, milk creamer thing i love the teapot or the teacup and saucer that's wonderful i love it so both of these cards will go up there i'm going to display this for when the kids get home so they can see it they'll they'll really get a kick out of this especially since it's extra fancy with its own holder and stuff like that i like how it has those little hooks um they're wearing their bling just to hold them so they're not all willy-nilly falling, sliding all over the place. That's lovely. I've never seen one like that. And yeah, I'm going to cherish that forever. I am. I'm probably going to use this one on my daily basis, to be honest, because I don't have a creamer thing. Or at least when I have a tea out of a teacup, like just casually, I can have a little cream. Or if the girls want, you know, to have a tea party, they can have a little cream. That one, it seems like it's... Uh, it would go with so many teacups. <coughs> and I think it's a boy. And he'd be just being the, the man in charge kind of thing. <coughs> I'm making sure the whole procedure of a tea party goes right. <laughs> like a, a butler or something like that. Yeah. That's what I think. That's what I think. So, no, I'm going to finish this cup of tea. It's 102 now. The girls will be home. Well, usually they get home at 2.45. I'm thinking they'll be here around 2 or 1.30. They're having spaghetti for supper. I already packed their lunches, so they shouldn't be too ravenous when they get home. We'll see. Effie's snoozing. And, yeah, I'm going to try to get some stuff done for the day. The kids don't have school tomorrow either, so this weekend's like a three-and-a-half-day weekend. And <clears throat> i got to get them... Um, ready for the dance tonight so i'll make sure i take pictures and stuff i might uh, bring you guys along for that it just won't be in today's video it'll be in tomorrow's video if i do so yeah it's only like a couple hours you know six to eight or seven to nine or something and uh it's all just little kids but that's fun that's fun for them so anyways guys i'm going to um end it here so i can go and get it all off my phone so i can try to get it up tonight and uh yeah i'm gonna say peace love and happiness today and every single day 
Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. Oh, there's one more thing I want to say. Just how I was talking about canning. <laughs> my my plan is tonight. I Yeah, I'll probably bring you guys along because I can picture, like, I, I need you guys by my side while I'm talking and planning out the stuff. But, um... I was looking up like to do with those onions. I've never canned onions before. I might try to can some onions just to have the experience. I also have probably six or seven packages of the hot Italian sausage in the deep freezer. And I looked up, do people ever can them whole? And you can can whole sausages just as is, like raw pack them. I've raw packed meat before, but I've never done sausage sausages. So I'm gonna try that. And I have a whole bunch of 50% off hamburger. I might can up that like a when you can ground meat and stuff you cook it up first season it how you want it then put it in a jar and go forward but that way if, Dor if something like Dorian ever happens again I'll have already cooked hamburger won't have to fuss and muss and try to cook it even though I would have means to cook it but it wouldn't be just it wouldn't be such a scramble and uh yeah that's that's what's coming up I don't know don't know if I'll do that tomorrow or not, but that's just stuff in my mind that I want to start canning. Uh, I have one canner up here, but yeah, I'm not doing it today. Anyways, all that stuff's in my freezer and it would take a couple days to defrost because there's so much of it. So anyways, that's what's going, that's what's going down. So oh, with that, I'll say have a good night or have a good morning and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.